Hey guys, GameDog here, and welcome back to Pokemon Surgeons. Alright, today we're going to start off World Island, or we're going to get farther into World Island. Alright, now let's see what kind of place this is for real this time. I've got Gollum. Okay, I should probably bring some other characters out then. Let's see, if we're going to fight rock and water types, maybe I should put out Octillery. Also, I just noticed this. Our Dragon Air is three levels away from evolving. Let's see if we maybe have that happen this episode. <laughs> Who knows, maybe we should actually get some good moves now. Let's see, okay. Hey, where do you think you're going? The levels aren't as crazy as I thought they were going to be. I grind everyone up to level 52, by the way. The only thing notable is that um, Octillery wanted to learn Hydro Pump, but I said no because I prefer accuracy over power. Is it the Scald? The Scald's a better move anyway. I love Scald. That's such a cool move. Huh. You know, I'm starting to wonder how this place is set up. Maybe it is just like a linear cave system, but... I don't know, I haven't played Silver in a long time. I remember World Island being a little convoluted. Silio. an ultra ball up there looks like there might be something here too nope apparently not all right Audrey's here using the title bell to summon Lugia. There's nothing you can do to stop us. Also, I noticed that he said a Lugia. Does that mean there's more than one? <laughs> it's... This thing's cry always kind of... I don't know. Eskin <laughs> has a weird cry. I know it's based off of Piranha, too, which is kind of cool. You know, is this Pokemon good? Seriously, do you guys like Baskin at all? He's kind of a weird Pokemon to me. I never really saw that much unique about him. Oh, oh, another big move that um that someone learned. And this one I actually did keep. Um, Harold wants to learn Moonblast, which I replaced um Draining Kiss with. That's pretty great. Moonblast has like 90 power, 100 accuracy, which is really, really good for any move. Uh, don't do too much. Oh, that might still poison. No, it didn't. Okay. Alright, nice. Is that it? Oh no, there's more down here. Oh, I feel like I've been here already. Oh, there's a fork in the road. Oh no, oh no. We're the strongest cult in Torrin. I'm gonna show you why. I know it's on the left side of the um of the um of the abyssal cult logo did you see this like a little bit of a 
Like it feels like you should have gotten a little bit higher the sensitivity on that on the uh, magic on the magic wand tool or something because I see a little bit of like pixelation near the side of the logo. Right, this guy just has both a clan pros evolutions, I guess. You won't leave here alive. Yeah, look at that right there. Like, that doesn't... <laughs> Alone of... Oh, this thing. The ocean sunfish. Those type changing moves are weird. Like, am I part like water now, or am I just like all water? Luminion. Oh, I love this thing. I consider this one of the most underrated Pokemon in the entire series. I used him in Reborn, and he is really, really good. Like, <laughs> it's. Lemnion is probably one of my favorite water types. Oh no, he's probably one of my favorite of the generic fish water types. That's taking into account Pokemon like Basculin, Goldeen, those guys. Actually, if I'm just narrowing it down to those two, Lumnion may be my favorite of those sorts of Pokemon. I don't know why, just like a glow-in-the-dark fish is really, really cool to me. Okay, this is... have I... no, I've not been on here yet. Is that a fossil? No, it's an escape rope. That might be useful. I'm not quite sure how useful it's going to be, considering that I don't think I've ever had one of those work on me yet. You know, I actually did a little bit of research into um, into those sorts of skills in RPG Maker. They're actually a little bit more tricky than you think they would be. By then, I'm talking about the skills that um, the skills that make it so like you use it and then you'll warp from a dungeon or something. It's kind of tricky, because you need to have, like, a check if you're in a dungeon first, and you need to, like, have a place, um, like, you go to when you use the skill if you are in a dungeon. And then it has to be, like, different per dungeon, too, so it has to, like, check which dungeon you're in. Like, it's kind of tricky to program something like that, actually. It's not the hardest thing on Earth, and there are intelligent, um, like, uh, like, guides online to doing it, but it's, it's, it's not as easy as you think it would be, just thinking about it. My strategy for this is to either make the dungeons not huge, or my way to around this is um, make them not huge, or um, I think one of my favorite examples I've ever done was um, in the one game I've made so far, I had these dungeon, I had this like one dungeon in which um, there's like a one way uh, route that hit, that's like at the very end that leads back to the beginning. That was just very simple to do. Like, it's nice and elegant, I kind of liked it. I actually am working on a second game now. Don't really have a name for it yet, but it's 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 a little interesting. I'm gonna try putting in my own artwork for the first time, which is going to look ugly, trust me. But heck, that's why I do art every day, so maybe it'll maybe one day not look ugly. <laughs> that's gonna kill Virgin. Yeah, it did. Okay, who should I go to next? I still don't have a single grass attack here. I could go to you, because I don't think you've had to do anything yet. Though I don't think you have a steel move. No, you, you'll have to do something else some other time. How about, um... How about you? I could maybe try a dragon tail and see what else you have. Wait, how, you're faster? Nope, okay, doesn't have any other Pokemon. I am baffled that this thing is faster than me. Uh oh. All 
All right, please hit with this. There we go. Um, let's see. Well, it's just fast. Hey, you are. Oh, whoops. Have you guys ever noticed how tanky my team is? Aside from Raichu, every single character is either all around or just a flat up tank. Also, what is that up there? Do you guys see that? Looks like it's a keyhole in a rock. Like photoshopped onto a rock. I just joined for the sweet outfits. <laughs> it's... Oh, this thing. Uh, does he have protein? That's the golden question. I'm gonna assume not and just go for a Moonblast. What's the worst it gonna do? Turn to a water type? He does not have it. How much will this do? Yep, there we go. You know, I was never really a huge fan of Greninja. His design always looked kind of weird to me for some reason. Uh, that is a waterfall back there. I'm gonna need, am I going to need waterfall to get up that? Also, I'm assuming that's the leader on that big pedestal. I'm just looking around right now. I'm surprised I didn't get too lost in this area. I usually have a good sense of direction when it comes to these sorts of games, but... I don't know, something about how this island was set up. It's kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I was able to get through it, though. <clears throat> All right, you know, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start with uh, I'm gonna start with Venusaur. I was getting worried uh, you wouldn't show up. After all, we wouldn't want to start with our special snowflake hero, would we? The world island is home to our um to one of the oldest living creatures, Lugia, the guardian of the sea and storm slinger. It hasn't graced us with its presence since the days of gold, but now, I like that. <laughs> but now the world islands, its home, have returned. The domain of the legendary Pokemon isn't is an ordinary place. It's connected to that Pokemon's artifact. It's why the Hall of Origin only appeared to dawn when uh, she br um, brandished the Azura Flute. And now that I have the bell, it'll bend to my will. Now emerge, Lugia, you will be mine. You will become my pawn, as soon the world will tremble in fear. What the? Huh? Oh, are these just like, um... Are these those women who, like, um... Who, like summoned a Lugia in the uh, in the original Gold and Silver. I know what happened in the remake. I haven't played the original in so long though. Was that Ho that did that? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Is that really the symbol for Lugia? That's kind of weird looking. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Looks like I'm gonna have to fight this thing now, too. Welcome, Stormslinger. My name is Audrey. Um I am the leader of the Abyssal Cult. With your strength and my leadership, this plant uh, this planet could be ours. We have great plans for the world, Lugia, but we need your help to pull them off. What do you say? Will you work with us? Will you work under me? Are you satisfied? Did you see what came to see? Of course you aren't. You'll, you'll want to battle, but here's the thing. Even if you win, it's not like I'll release Lugia and leave. Why would I? Beating me won't change a thing. You'll walk, uh, you walked right into my trap. You win, you get nothing, and if I win, you lose everything. Your friends, your life, and your chance at saving the region. I'll give you a chance to prepare. I won't in, um, dignify the Stormslinger by having it fight a weakened opponent. Let me know when you're ready to battle. Hmm. Oh, what the? Wait. Okay, good. I was I was worried that threw me into the battle real quick. I'm not gonna lie. I was half okay when I walk down and automatically walks me back up. Oh, that's kind of strange. I guess I might as well heal up first. Let's see what I got. I don't wish they did it though. Um, do I have a revive? I don't want to use my max revives quite yet. I really need to bring one guy back. That's good enough. A uh, hyper potion. 
There we go. Do I have any, like, regular potions? Oh, I oddly do not. What berries? <laughs> Just a single aura berry. Oh, wait, I forgot to rearrange my, um... My, uh, my items. I think one of these guys still has, uh, the Lucky Egg. Yeah, you do. I forgot to give you back the Rocky Helmet. I uh, should be way down here. Yep, right there. Huh? Wait, Harold? Oh, I didn't realize I was on Harold. I want to give it to Myrtle. There we go. Um, I use my last, uh, my my only uh full heal too. Oh no, that doesn't heal. Um. Oh boy, can I bring her back to life or bring her back to full? I don't think so. I'll just fight him then. Very well. If you're ready to take on Lugia, then let's begin. All right, let's see what we got. Whoa, look at this background. Wait, huh? Oh. I thought he was going to start with the Lugia. Um, alright. Well, let's start with Leech Seed. There we go. Okay. I know this is a very tanky Pokemon. Um... Hmm. Uh, I think Psychic would be best. Oh, that did way more than I thought it would. And that Volt Switch is not good. Alright, next is Ludicola, who I cannot use, um, Leech Seed on. I feel like I should just switch out, but I'll go for Silver Wind just in case. Yeah, that's still surprisingly damaging. He has a Life Orb, too. I don't think he's- oh, no, I don't think he's gonna die at all now. He's gonna get health back because of that. Okay, okay. Um, who should I go to for Ludicolo? I feel like I should just go for priority here. Yeah, we'll go to you. Quick attack should be enough to take you out. Oh, wait, you know what I should do? I should get a life wire going. Swampert. Oh boy, really wish I had grass type now. And I know he's gonna have more water types too, so I don't want to sacrifice version quite yet. He's Aqua Tail. Yikes. Okay. Okay, okay. Hmm. I need to look at my move sets real quick. Signal Beam. The Custom could go neutral. Earthquake could go neutral. I don't have much I could rely on. I guess Chip is my best option right now, just because I don't think anything he could do could be super effective against me. And he has leftovers too, that's not good. Hmm. I'm gonna go for Ice Beam and hope for a series of freezes. Thankfully that doesn't do too much. It can- f yeah, it did flinch. Alright. There we go. Uh, signal beam, then. That's better. Right? I know he's faster than me, too. Like, his text is coming up before mine is. Okay, thankfully we kill. I think I got lucky there. Like, super, super lucky. Alright, next is that Lugia. Um... Oh man, who's gonna be faster here? 
version is going to be faster. I'm going to nuzzle him first. There we go. It's going to do nothing, but he is paralyzed now. Aerial Blast. That didn't do too much. Wait, why do you have leftovers already? I'm going to do this too. Alright. Oh, that did nothing. Ooh, I think that went critical. Didn't. Huh. Let's go to you next, because you're probably going to be the only one without a water move. I know you're flying psychic, so we're going to hit you with this. Yep, there we go. Paralyzed. Good, okay, that could have very easily been the worst part of this fight. Alright, what's next? Kingdra. Um, what can I hit a Kingdra with? I'm gonna go to Gem. We haven't used her yet. I'm gonna hope this will work. Ugh, no. Alright, good. Pretty good first attempt there, too. What's next? Crawdaunt. I think he's gonna kill me first. Oh, this is the Mega. Wait, this isn't an official one. Ooh. Uh, looks like you put a motion blur effect on him. <laughs> He's got super power. Alright. That's at least going to lower his stats, though. Yeah, less defense, less attack. That's great for everything. What the? Wait, those are paper airplanes. Holy, I didn't expect that to do so much. You know, I hate to do it, I don't... I'm gonna use a full uh, max revive. I'm gonna use that on version. Yep, and that's why I knew it was gonna do something like that, and I actually thought that was gonna kill. Thankfully it didn't, I might not get another chance to do something here. I'll go for Signal Beam. I think that can lower Special Defense, so that could help out. Looks like it was very wise of me to use that. Okay, that will not kill. Ooh! Oh, that got really close though. Wow, okay, I think that's our closest battle yet, actually. We both got very lucky, but... Uh, wait, that's not his last Pokemon? Oh, no, he's still got this thing. He absorbed the live wire? Oh, he's got Volt Absorb. Ooh, what do I do? Um, I hate to have to, to use another one, but... Yeah, I'm gonna use it on Herald. I actually kind of wanted that to kill me. Because, um, yeah, he wouldn't have gotten, like, a free turn off of Leftovers, basically. Okay, this is going to be a very drawn-out battle. A 
I'll do this just so I can at least limit his turns. He's gonna try and uh, burn me. Okay. The leash seeds should uh, the leash seeds should be offsetting the um should be offsetting the the leftovers at least. And there we go. Okay. Huh. Not bad. Not really great either. <laughs> How did you? I must say I'm impressed. You defeated both Lugia and my Crawdont. Fine, I'll let you live for now, but be warned, Game Dog. If you ever cross my path again, I might not be so merciful. It's time to move on to the next phase. Abyssal Call to move out. Is that it? I guess that's it. And I watched the escape rope not work. Oh, it did. Oh, good. Huh. Um, I only have one Pokemon alive right now. Okay, let's head back to that town. Hopefully it's connected. Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, this is that weird glitch again. Looks like we made it back, at least. Alright, let's heal up, and then I think that'll be it for this episode. I kind of expected there to be more of a cutscene after that, though. Oh, whatever. I guess I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.